behaviors. Come on now, everybody, double time. One, two, three, four, five, ten, go, go, go. Oh, it hurts so good. It hurts so nice. You can do it once. You can do it twice. Go, go. One more. Two, three, four. <laughs> Terrific, ladies. I'm proud of all of you. Now, <laughs> if you're not too exhausted, drag those glorious bodies off to the dressing room, freshen up, and I'll see you all tomorrow right here in our own little torture chamber. <laughs> Charlie. Ellen, I really admire you. Like Ferdy says, you uh, come a long way. Although, I think maybe you got a little too skinny. But how'd you do it? What's your secret? What? How did you get skinny? Oh, diet, exercise. Oh, you're gonna keep it all to yourself, huh? It's not a secret. Just stop stuffing. Ellen, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing, I'm all right. Please Ready? just go away. Do you want to sit down or something? No. Just leave me alone. I'll be all right. Ellen! Ellen! so stupid. I only fainted. I shouldn't be in the hospital for that. For fainting, no, but for a possible concussion, yes. A very nasty bump on your head. Doctor, is there something wrong with my blood pressure? I'm just having a little trouble getting a reading. Might uh, just be the unit. Your pulse seems to be a little bit irregular, Miss Michaels. Do you have any history of high blood pressure, heart problems? No. Taking any medication at all? No. None at all? I told you, no. Anything I can do, Stan? No, thank you, Gates. Uh, Miss Brancusi, I want a CBC, Skull Series, Electrolytes, EKG. Gonzo, Gates? Ellen? Gonzo? Ellen Michaels, I thought so. Oh, no. I mean, no. I think so. You are Ellen Michaels, right? Good, you noticed the difference. Whoa, what a difference. When I was 10 and she was 12, and Herbie Kordinsky used to pick on me, you know what this woman did for me? <laughs> what? She sat on him. That's right. My weight was my weapon. <laughs> You certainly don't seem to have a weight problem now. No, thank heavens. Uh, wait a minute. Are you taking any diet pills of any sort? No, not anymore. Aber Gonzo kann sich bestimmt noch erinnern, dass ich der dickste Pummel im ganzen Viertel war. Ja, ich war wahnsinnig verliebt in dich. Besonders, wenn du dich auf Hölbe gesetzt hast. Wenn Sie nichts dagegen haben, möchte ich jetzt die Untersuchung fortsetzen. Yeah, I was looking at the report. How serious is it? I think it's not serious at all. I would like the opportunity to find out. Sorry, Stan. Thank you. See you later, Slim. Bye. Our team has never looked better, Dad. <laughs> yeah, every man's in tip-top condition. Huh? Me? Well, I mean, maybe, maybe a few pounds overweight, but... <laughs> I'll try, Dad, but I can't. Pro yes, sir. Right. Sure. Ten pounds? Absolutely, Dad. I can do it. Okay, that's a promise. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, Dad. Yes, yes. Right. Goodbye. Ten pounds. Especially around the middle. Hmm? Wants me to lose 10 pounds before the game. What game? What game? The big charity game, John, against Bay General. It's less than a week away. Well, there's nothing to it. All it takes is diet, exercise, a little willpower. Ernestine Shoup. Yeah, she could help you. Put you on a program. Just a moment. I don't need any help, John. All it takes is a little diet, a little exercise, a little willpower. How's your condition, John? The old soup bone in shape? Soup bone. The old soup bone, John. Your arm. I never intended for you to play left field, you know. A chief of surgery is a pitcher. And a man with an arm like yours. Whoop. Come on, Stanley, aren't you taking this a little too seriously? Of course I am. This is Dad's favorite charity. We have to win this game, John, for Dad's sake. Who's that? Uh, this is privileged information. Only physicians have access. Dr. Riverside, meet Dr. Robert Edson. <clears throat> The Dr. Edson? <laughs> the only one I know. Hi, Trapper. Oh, I've read your book from cover to cover. It's the best thing I've ever read on hypertension and obesity. Thank you. I'm very flattered. You know, I would really love to discuss your theory of metabolic acidosis. Well, I'd love to talk about it, except I'm late for a lecture. Here. Here's my card. 
Why don't you call me in? Better yet, I'll be here tomorrow. We can discuss it at our leisure. Nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. Good man, great reputation. The best. What's his position? Private position, hospital privileges. No, no, his position. Right field, left field, what? Come in. Alan Michaels. That's right. Yeah. I was asked to deliver these things. Uh, a few things to wear. Photo album from home. Duffel bag from the exercise salon. And a living begonia. Thank you. Oh, and this. Mm. 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 Wow, I love that delivery. Thank you. Mm. You know, I think you're a little crazy. And I think you're a phony. Du siehst kein bisschen krank aus. Bin ich auch nicht. Die wollen mich nur zur Dekoration hier behalten. Have they told you what's wrong with you? Oh, some double talk about irregular heartbeats, uh, low potassium levels. I don't know. They're still running tests. <sighs> Maybe I ought to cancel my trip. Don't you dare. It's business and it's important. I don't like running off to Europe while you're here in the hospital. I want to be here for a couple of days and I'll grab a plane and I'll meet you in Amsterdam. You think that's wise, huh? A long flight like that can be terribly tiring. You don't want me? Of course I want you, but I want you healthy and well. You know, sometimes I get the feeling... Oh, don't mind me. I'll just stand here and watch. Oh, come on in, Gonzo. Dr. Gates, this is my fiancé, Scott Nelson. Fiancé? Uh, that's great. When's the wedding? We haven't set a date yet. But believe me, it's going to be soon. Gonzo's the reason for this photograph album, Scott. We've known each other since we were kids. And she was my bodyguard, if you can believe that. <laughs> Listen, I'll leave you two alone. No, no, that's right. Um, I do have a business trip coming up, though, Doctor, and I hate to leave Ellen here alone. You think it'll be all right? You cancel that trip, and I'll make you eat that begonia. There's your answer. I'll keep an eye on her. All right, thank you. I'll call you in the morning. Ist er nicht wundervoll? With all due respect, Dr. Riverside, you're acting like a narrow-minded, pig-headed male chauvinist, and you're not even a very good shortstop. I haven't made an error in the last three games. Well, you're making one now. Miss Brancusi, I am only thinking of the good of the team. After all, baseball is a man's game. It requires a keen mind, a sharp eye, a fast, hard, well-conditioned body. And uh, just how do you qualify for all that? I admit I may have to lose a pound or two. Uh, look at I played baseball in college. In my junior year, I hit 327 with 11 home runs and 34 RBIs. I played first base, catcher, and center field, and I did it better than any man on your team. Hey, excuse me. My name's Scott Nelson. Ich habe das eben mit angehört. Ist das richtig? Sie spielen Baseball? In her junior year, she hit 327 with 11 home runs. Und uh, als Werferin bin ich spitze. Also ehrlich gesagt, ich bin ein baseball -Narr. Sie haben mich jetzt ganz verrückt. Where do you play? Well, uh, I don't. He does. <laughs> you see, our hospital has a team. We're playing Bay General Friday night. Charity affair. You might want to come out and have a look at us. Ah, uh, I won't be in town this Friday. Well, you can catch us any afternoon over at Memorial Park. We're always out there practicing, knocking out fungos, tossing around the old apple. Will you be there? Yes. No. Good luck. Scott Nelson, wer ist das? Vielleicht ist es ein Mann von der Presse oder vom Fernsehen oder jemand von der Profiliga auf Talentsuche. Unser Team scheint bereits gehandelt zu werden. Oh. <lacht> that can't be me. Oh, that's you, all right. When you were dreaming about being quarterback for the 49ers. Well, now, if I remember right, you wanted to be a pilot. Yeah, like Sky King. That was just one of my dreams. <laughs> Another was to be Grace Kelly, wear a white gown, and marry a prince. I never told that to anyone before. How come? I don't know. I guess I was fat, and I thought all my friends would laugh at me. It doesn't matter anyway. Because you found your prince, right? Right. A little later than expected. Scott's an international banker. Mm. Conzo, I want you to come to our wedding. Oh, I'll be there, eating my heart out. Ellen, <laughs> oh, I'm really glad everything's working out so well for you. Well, I've had a lot of help. 
Freddy Chalmers and his exercise class for one. Here, look at this. This was me six months ago. Six months and 40 pounds ago. I hated myself then. It'll never happen to me again. Ellen, it's all behind you now. There's no reason for you to be upset. Oh, I lose a ton. Great things happen. I get a man, a promotion, a whole new life. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Oh, come on, Gonzo. Where have you been? A male executive can be built like a sumo wrestler. Do you think he wants a fat secretary to remind him of himself? A fat man is built like a Sherman tank, but a fat woman's a slob. I mean, thin isn't just beautiful. It's efficient and brainy and chic. And for a woman, the only way to be at the top is if you're thin. Look at me. I'm like a bull in a china shop. Helen, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's stupid. I'm the same klutz I was when I was 40 pounds heavier. I, I, I don't know how Scott puts up with me. I, I don't know how anybody puts up with me. Come on, let's put you to bed. You okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Gehst du hin, falls wir dich brauchen? Zu den Ärzten, zum Abendessen. Dann pass gut auf, was sie dir vorsetzen. Diese Diätspezialisten haben nämlich keine Ahnung ja, von gesunder Kost. Oh. Stanley, was haben Sie denn? Oh. Alles in Ordnung, Pfeffer. Wo setzen Sie sich? <lacht> setzen Sie sich! <lacht> uh. Der Puls ist ziemlich schnell. Was haben Sie gemacht? Ach, ich, äh, ich habe mich ein bisschen. Well, exercise? General Conditioning, you know. What kind of exercise? I ran all the way. Up the stairs. Stanley, huh? we're on the second floor. <laughs> <sighs> Möchten Sie noch etwas Kaffee? Sehr gerne. Gail? Gail! Entschuldigung. Die treusorgende Hausfrau vernachlässigt den Gast. Ich würde sagen, Ihr Mann vernachlässigt seinen König. I am just about to defeat the man who made a major breakthrough in starvation studies. Check and mate. I don't believe it. I think this guy cheats. Naturally, it's the only way I can win. <clears throat> Trapper! Did you hear that Robert has progressed? He's gone on to different studies. Expanded his horizons, so to speak. He's even found a place on the bestseller list. Non-fiction, of course. Yes, I heard. A diet book. <sighs> Another game? Yeah, let's set him up. Actually, that's not a diet book, but a way of getting through to people who've been obese all their lives. How did you get involved in this? What do you mean, this? I'm dealing with people. I'm changing their lives, their outlooks, and their, their own evaluations of themselves. Of course, it's not research. It's not papers and textbooks. But it's people. People who've been crippled all their lives by the emotional stigma of being fat. Money doesn't hurt either. It's lucrative, yes, and that's nice. But that doesn't take precedence over the satisfaction of, of seeing someone become beautiful, inside and out. I love, I love doing what I'm doing, Trapper. 
Brilliance and happiness. All rolled into one. Can't beat it, Trapper, right? Morning. Hi. May I? Sure. What you reading? Dr. Edson's book on obesity. Look here. According to this chart, for my height and age, I'm 11 pounds underweight. Hmm? Huh. <laughs> uh, let me take a look at that. Oh, great. Since here I'm supposed to be four pounds lighter. If you were four pounds lighter, you'd be a disgrace to your uniform. I don't know. Four pounds today, five pounds tomorrow. I better get rid of them. How? What do you mean, how? No big deal. I'll just cut down on the sweets and starches and lose a pound a day. A pound a day? Easily. Five will get you ten. You can't do it. You're on. And I'll uh, thank you not to eat those peanuts in front of me. So what do you want from me? I need an energy hype, all right? Every time I see you, it's crunch, crunch, crunch. If it isn't those peanuts, it's those chocolate-covered marshmallows sprinkled with coconut, the vanilla wafer in the middle that you deliberately flaunt in front of me. No wonder I'm four pounds overweight. You and your crunch, crunch, crunch. Ellen, what are you doing? Vitamins. I'm, I'm just taking some vitamins. I thought we gave the pills around here. May I see them? Why? Don't you believe me? We don't like our patients to take any medication without a doctor's permission. I told you, they're just vitamins. I'd like to see them, please. Get out! Get out of here! I don't want you in here! Get out! Ellen. Go away! Ellen, what happened? I know the food in here is bad, but it doesn't deserve this kind of reaction. Ellen? What's wrong? That nurse? She snuck up on me and she scared me. I know she doesn't like me. Well, of course she likes you. She's just doing her job. She's trying to help you. Look, why don't you try and relax and get some sleep? Okay? No. No, I'm checking out. I'm getting out of here. Ellen, that's not a good idea. Why not? I'm not sick. I don't need to be in a hospital. I need to see Scott. You don't care about me. Ellen. Why don't we talk about you checking out of here after you've had some rest, okay? Will you stay with me for a while? Sure. Los, Tempo, Leute, schneller! Passt auf, das ist ein prima Werfer! Gut, sehr gut gefangen, jetzt bist du dran, zeig mal, was du drauf hast! Schieß ihn ab wie eine Rakete! Na los, du mach schon! Beautiful, Costello. That's the best move you've made since you delivered twins in the elevator. Costello had an emergency. I'm subbing for him. You're illegal. I threw him out, didn't I? But you're a girl. You don't belong here. What about it, fellas? Do I or don't I belong here, huh? Yeah. Well, Costello is uh, suffering from Charlie horses. He's been in a bit of a slump lately. All right, Rancruzzi, you're in the line. Ah! Can I give you a hand with that? No, thanks. I can manage. You know, if all catchers were as lovely as you are, they wouldn't be allowed to wear masks. I thought you were supposed to be in Amsterdam. I don't leave till tonight. Your practice seems to be over, Miss Brancusi. I'd be honored if you'd join me for a drink. No, thanks. I'm in training. 
She's medicating herself, Trapper. I walked in, she was just about ready to take those pills. Probably amphetamine. Well, it explains the low potassium and the arrhythmias. And the irrational behavior. How was she when you left her? Resting quietly. Okay, let's go talk to her. <clears throat> Dr. Kenyon, please call the cath lab. Jack, what, is Ellen awake? Who are? Don't talk with your mouth full. She left. What do you mean, she left? Left? Gone? Isn't checked out? And one, and two, and good. Keep the rip. Keep it going and keep the tummies tucked in, please. And one and oh, oh, I'm Freddie Chalmers. Can I help you? Uh, Dr. Gates, San Francisco Memorial. I have some questions about Ellen Michaels. Can you talk to me for a few minutes? Uh, uh sure. Just hang on one second. Uh, side bends now, ladies, to the left. Terrific, ladies. Yes, sure. Uh, Ellen's very sick. Oh, she yeah? checked herself out of the hospital today, and I can't find her. Do you know where she might be? No, but if she stops by here, I'll let you know. Good. One other thing. Yeah, just, just hold on one second. To the right, please, ladies. Thank you. You're so obliging. Yes. What were we talking about? Uh, Ellen told me that you were one of the people responsible for her new look. Do you know who the others are? Well, I know she was seeing a doctor who specializes in bariatrics. That's a fat doctor. I, I mean, a fat doctor, not a fat doctor. Right. <laughs> Right, do you know who it is? Of course, he's marvelous. Dr. Edson, Dr. Robert Edson. Okay, let's see some calf work, girls. Pull it. Stanley, hmm? do you Oh, know shoot, that... good, you're here. When's the Macintosh me? Oh, uh, Friday morning. Oh, good. That means Jenkins will be free. Uh, wrong. You had him cover for Murphy. Murphy? Why Murphy? Because he's doing the hernia orphy. No, I thought that was postponed until Monday. That was before Murphy covered for Landau. Who's Landa? In orthopedics. That means they don't have a shortstop. Ah. Wenn ich Fraser ja für ihn als Ersatz nehme, schwäche ich das ganze Außenfeld. Das geht nicht. Bay General hat einen Linkshänder am Schlag, der ist hochgefährlich. Stanley? <lacht> Vielleicht setze ich Martin für Fraser ja ein. Stanley, why are you eating that candy? What candy? That candy. I thought you were on a diet. Da sehen Sie, wie man sich irren kann. Das sind keine Süßigkeiten. Nein, das sind Appetitzügler. Je mehr ich davon esse, umso weniger Hunger habe ich. Wirklich? Hm? So nehme ich zehn Pfund pro Woche ab. Leicht. Stanley? Each one of these has 30 calories. You have already consumed half the box. I know you are. See, I'm not hungry. No hunger pains, nothing. No problem, see? <laughs> I never knew dieting could be this easy. Easy as pie. Pie? Call. Please call the emergency room. X-ray technician, call the emergency room. Mind if I join you? Mm -hmm. Oh, Dr. Gates. Well, please, please do, yes. Well, how nice to see you again. Dr. Edson, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your clinics. How do they operate? Well, they work a great deal like franchise does, you know. I set up the um, weight control program. Mm -hmm. I have the capable people. And, of course, I monitor the entire situation myself. Dawes. How many clinics have you? Sieben. Und eine in Mexiko. Und überall führen sie die Aufsicht ja, aus. Das hält mich auch ziemlich auf Trump. What's the basis for the weight control program? Well, we put our patients on a rigid fasting diet. We give them protein powder, and vitamins and minerals and potassium. Diuretics? That can be part of it too. You know. mm -hmm. Are you interested in this as a type of practice? <sighs> It's a wonderful opportunity for a young doctor. No, no. Actually, I'm interested in one of your patients. Ellen Michaels? Oh, Michaels. Michaels. Oh, Ellen Michaels, of course. Oh, yes. We worked wonders with that girl. She went through an incredible change. Have you seen her recently? No, I have not for quite a while. Yeah. That's why she's in trouble. What are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you, Dr. Edson, that your program works a little too well. Ellen lost 40 pounds, and now she's nothing but an exposed nerve. Well, I can't be responsible for her personal problems. Why not? You caused them. If she'd been properly monitored, her potassium wouldn't be depleted. I prescribed potassium. In her case, you didn't prescribe enough. If you cared more about your patients, you'd know that she'd been taking diuretics, that she'd been overdoing her exercise. Are you accusing me of negligence? You bet I am. And if Ellen gets any worse, I may be accusing you of murder. 
those are harsh words, my friend. And you have better have the facts to back them up, or you're going to find yourself on the wrong end of a big, fat slander suit. Okay, Dr. Gates, you and I have got a little talking to do. I'm listening. <clears throat> Hand me that crescent wrench, will you? What's going on with you and Edson? Oh, I don't think he loves me anymore. Yeah, I kind of got that idea. He's raising all sorts of hell about you. That you've accused him of everything from double parking to murder. Negligence. What? Uh, see any pliers out there? Here. Thanks. Guys being downright negligent, Trapper. Too damn busy making money and opening clinics to monitor his patients the way he should. Now that is a pretty heavy rap to lay on a physician. Uh, look, Trevor, the guy runs a perfectly legitimate weight control clinic. His patients are dropping pounds all over the place, but he gives them diuretics, and he doesn't supervise their exercise, doesn't check their potassium levels. In fact, he hardly ever even sees them at all, personally. He just lets one of his staff do it. You have any proof? Yes, Ellen Michaels. She wouldn't be in this condition if she'd been properly monitored. Have you found her yet? No, and you can thank Edson for that irrational state that she's in. Well, the burden of proof is still on you. Edson has the same rights as any other citizen. So does Ellen. She's paying for medical supervision that she's not getting. And so are his other patients. I'm surprised there haven't been more casualties. Yeah, well, if you don't come up with some facts, you may be the next casualty. As soon as the cast is dry, send them to 4 West. Sure, sure. <clears throat> Thumb drop. Make this one. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What does it matter after all? It's never been a problem for me, actually. Yeah, you know what amazes me is the What's way that? you handle it. Really? You know, yeah, most people try and lose weight the easy way. You know, they'd go to a fat doctor or uh, someone like Robert Edson, for example. They would. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. He has them dropping pounds like that, you know, practically mm -hmm. overnight. But not you. No, no, you got too much integrity for that. <laughs> now, the thing I like about you is that you like to do it the hard way, nice and slow and steady, a little bit at a time. You know, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Slow, steady, a little mm -hmm. bit. Of, I mean, that's, that's healthy. Of course, unless you have to. Lose yeah. it in a hurry, then. Uh, well, I just want you to know that I admire your patience, Stan, you know? The fact that you're willing to wait for your results. You're not like all those impatient people at Edson's Clinic. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Thanks. Gans? Aren't you going to eat that? No. What you going to do with it? Stare at it. See, it's my exercise and willpower. You take a scrumptious dessert like this cake here and stare at it longingly for three minutes and then throw it away saying, I'm in control. <laughs> Five bucks says that piece of cake doesn't get thrown away. You got it. Okay, watch this. Mm. Eleven pounds underweight. Disgusting. I'd give my last piece of dry toast to get even with that turkey. 
Tell me something. Are you mechanically inclined? No, not very. Well, I am. Come with me. First, we stop at the maintenance department. Yeah. A new screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a right. few odds and ends. Uh -huh. The difference between fat and thin is like the difference between automobiles. I mean, we have the big gas guzzlers and we have the economy models. Well, the same is true of people. We have the big food guzzlers who always have to fill up their tanks. And we have the trim ones, those that don't need as much. Those that never feel they have to pull into a station because the gauge reads half full. <laughs> <laughs> now, in my clinics, you'll learn quickly and painlessly how to get along on less. How to live at full throttle. How to live a happier, fuller life on less than half the amount of fuel. Now, aside from all the physical and health factors we've discussed, you might look upon this as an investment in self-esteem. And I thank you very much, and I hope I see you at one of my clinics. so much you love it and stretch checking those tummies now one more big stretch way out Ooh, that's enough agony for oh, now we'll, we'll jiggle through another session tomorrow ciao babies ellen look i've had enough of that hospital i'm fine and I don't want any more of your help. Please, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I just want to talk to my own physician. Your own physician isn't that interested. What are you talking about? Dr. Edson's the only one who's been able to help me. Your health is a pretty big price to pay for that kind of help. Ellen, how do you expect me to help you if you won't tell me the truth? Ellen, will you please listen to me? Here. It's all right, ladies. I'm a doctor. Doctor, huh? That's the oldest line in the world. <laughs> Ellen, we've picked up an abnormality on the EKG. It's an irregularity in the heartbeat, and we need to check that out. Plus, your blood pressure's way too low, your pulse is way too high, and your potassium is a very dangerous level. I am not going back to the hospital. I'm leaving for Europe tomorrow to see Scott, and all I want right now is to be left alone. Ellen, will you look at yourself? You're a mess. And it's all because of that fasting program and the pills that you told us you weren't taking. I'm not taking any pills. Well, the pills that you aren't taking, Ellen, are killing you. You're so dependent... You're a liar! Ellen, please let me help you. Help me? How? To go back to being fat and ignored and unwanted? Uh-uh. When I got to be thin, I found Scott and a lot more. I'll never go back to being fat and ugly again. Never! There are a lot safer ways to lose weight, Ellen. Edson's cure could kill you. Yeah. Well, being fat and unwanted does kill you. <laughs> Oh, my. If you insist on helping me, you might start by cutting down on the martinis at lunch. Well, you were the one who wanted me to come along. Had something to do with uh, a nice, respectable marriage, promoting books. Am I tarnishing the image? You know, sometimes I can't make up my mind which image I'm spoiling, our marriage or the sales pitch. We're not going to get into that again, now, are we? I can't help it. I mean, this is inane. I mean, once you were a respected doctor... I still am. You are not. You're a medicine man peddling books and prefabricated diets. I remember how proud I was when you gave that Lorison lecture on your work on endocrinology. Yes, yes, I remember that. Yes, 20 people in the audience and a free reprint of the paper by the medical journal. I know, Robert. I know how hard you've worked for your success. I'd trade all of it right now if you'd just... Damn. Forget it. I wish I could understand you, Gail. Where are you going? You know, it's just my luck. I married a doctor who keeps people thin. Not sober. If... Uh... 
Yeah, no, good afternoon. Please. Take any seat you like. And there's literature over Dr. here. Dr. Redson! Hey, Ellen, what's wrong? Please, I've, I've got to talk to you. Mm, all right. Why don't you just sit down and after the lecture? No, now! You, you don't understand that there's nobody else I can talk to, Doctor. There's only you. All right. We'll talk. Why don't you just make yourself comfortable for a moment until the See? lecture is over? See? This letter. I got this letter from Scott, my fiancé. Read it. Not now, Ellen, please. Dear Ellen, I'm writing this from the airport as I wait for my flight to Amsterdam. It's the most difficult letter I'll ever write because I know how much this will hurt you. This is not the time or the place. He's please. left me, Dr. Edson. I mean, his words are sweet and flowery, but he's telling me to get lost. He, he's treating me the way I was treated when I, I was fat and ugly and... Listen, I'm truly sorry, but I want you to sit down and calm yourself. And after the lecture... No, you're not nice sorry. Time. You're just humoring me like everybody else. You don't give a damn about me. Oh, that's not true. Here, you keep this. You're as bad as he is. Michaels was wheeled in a little while ago. Ventricular tachycardia. She's damned lucky she didn't arrest. What's her condition now? Stable, but no thanks to your pal Edson. Come on, I can't believe you'd practice that kind of medicine. Trapper, what do I have to do to make you believe me? Prove it. Give me some facts, evidence, a witness who can testify. Disgusting! All uh, right, what? Not only disgusting, absolutely degrading. Stanley, what are you talking about? I've just come from the clinic of the distinguished Dr. Robert Edson. I thought I'd uh, check out his weight control program. It's purely academic, you understand? <laughs> Does he weight? All I lost, my friend, was my illusions. John, that man, his whole system is absolutely it's irresponsible. Ah, uh, be careful, Stanley. You are speaking of a well-respected physician. No, I'm talking about Edson. Do you know he didn't even bother to see me? He turned me over to some assistant who asked me a few simple questions and then doled out the standard Edson diet. They give the same diet to everyone. A little bit of protein powder, vitamins, minerals, diuretics, and a week's supply of potassium pills. Hat er über mögliche Nebenwirkungen gesprochen? Sie sind gut, Gottso. Der hat weder meinen Blutdruck noch mein Herz untersucht. Der Kerl hielt es doch nicht mal für nötig, mir einen Termin zu geben, wann ich wiederkommen soll. John, I'm telling you, the man is a dangerous practitioner. You ought to be drummed out of the business before he kills someone. Your move, Trapper. Fällt er drauf ein? Vertrauen Sie mir. What's wrong, Jackpot? This thing says I gained seven pounds. Oh, well, you know, you reach a certain age, your metabolism changes. Yeah, but since yesterday, take it from me, Jackpot, middle age always comes as a shock. Mm. Well, maybe that thing is wrong. Good point. Try the one in the doctor's lounge. I did. Same thing. Seven pounds. What peanuts. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey, you shouldn't be eating those peanuts. Why not? I just lost four pounds. Yeah, well, you don't have to eat them in front of me, you know. I mean, every time I look at you, it's crunch, crunch, crunch. No wonder I'm putting on weight. I cannot possibly monitor every patient. After all, I've got eight clinics. I can't be everywhere at once. Then shut seven of them down. Are you out of your mind? These clinics are an asset to the community. I've got people coming to me from all over. Sad, lonely, overweight people who are desperately seeking a, a new identity, a new image, a new sense of self-esteem. And I give them a reason to feel alive again. All right, they lose weight fast enough, but you don't give them enough time. No personal attention. I give them a weight reduction program, which is medically sound. 
Yes, but in order to stay thin, they become dependent on your fasting program and pills, and that's where the trouble starts. Well, I can't be expected to monitor them for the rest of their lives. Well, then teach them some behavior modification. Train them, educate them, teach them new habits so that they can stay thin without the pills and the fasting. That's not my responsibility. Is Ellen Michaels your responsibility? Well, what's Ellen got to do with this? She's your patient, isn't she? Yes, of course she is. She lost 40 pounds in five months. She's my happiest success story. Well, your success story was scraped off the sidewalk this afternoon. What are you talking about? Ellen, she is in the hospital right now fighting for her life. And it looks like you are responsible. My pills. I want my pills. Please, give me my pills. I'm sorry, Ellen. No more pills. Du hast sie mir gestohlen, nicht? Nein. Los, gib sie mir. Ellen, hör jetzt auf und beruhige dich. Gott, we've been friends for a long time, right? I mean, since we were little kids. Please, please give me my pills. Whatever you're getting for them, I'll pay you double, okay? That sounds great, but I'll have to take it up with the syndicate. Don't humor me, Gonzo. Okay. Okay, we've got a deal. No lousy jokes and no pills. Get away from Ellen. me! No! 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 Mrs. Shoup. Hi, Shoup. It's Stanley. Hi, Stanley. How's the game going? Oh, not too bad. We're losing 12 to... We're losing 13... We're losing 14 to nothing, but uh, there's still hope. We haven't been up to bat yet. Listen, Shoup, I need help. Something for the morale of the team. You know what I'm talking about. Not now, Stanley. I'm on duty. Please, just wants to refresh my memory. I can't take the time now. You've got to, Ernie. I'm grasping at straws. All right, all right, calm down. You must be crazy. Give me a Y, give me a A, give me a yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a Y, give me a A, give me a yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the fastest team you'll meet? The fastest medics on their feet. Whatever branch, a nurse or doc, or orderly in a clean white smock. We'll win the game and that's no line, then take care of the sick and dying. Yay, San Francisco Memorial, yay! <laughs> Well, she's stronger this morning. I think she's gonna be all right. Good. Uh, Dr. Gates, I, I'd like to compliment you on your treatment. I think you have a difficult case and an extremely difficult patient. Ellen's not that difficult. Well, I'm talking about me. I think your treatment was painful, but very effective. Thank you for your help. Hi. Glad to see you're doing okay. You call this okay? Yuck. Gonzo, I'm sorry I gave you such a bad time. Forget it. It's all finished, right? Right. And I thought I was such a prize. You are a prize. You always have been. All thin is, is thin. Now you tell me. <laughs> I 
to go, Gloria. Uh, it's over. 37 to 1. 1? A home run. Who hit it? I did. <laughs> oh, poor Stanley. Where is he? Uh, he's breaking the news to his father. Well, how did your dad take it, Stanley? He had a $500 bet on the game. Oh, boy, I bet he's upset. No, he bet on the other team. Ha, 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 ha.